Alright, it's time to get into the fun stuff. We are going to get started with visual force. So in this particular video, we are ju just going to go the overview, introduction to visual force. So what is a, what is visual force? Visual force is a web development framework that enables you and I, developers, to build sophisticated, custom user interfaces for mobile and desktop apps that can be hosted on the Lightning platform. We can use Visual Force to build apps that align with the styling of the Lightning experience as well as your own completely custom interface. So it's pretty much you can build pretty much anything and everything you can imagine with your mind. All right. So if you have a web development background, it would be beneficial for you because you would have the background to to build um, web based applications already. And Visual Force is um, based on that. It used HTML tags and its own Visual Force tags, and it can connect to its own Apex controller and so on, which we will see. But basically, if you're comfortable developing web pages like using HTML or PHP or any other. Um, web development framework, you would be familiar with um, the foundation already to build Visual Force pages. So, so this is uh, a client which is our computer, right? Loading, oops, I was trying to copy this. Loading um, uh, a Visual Force page, and then it will contains the Visual force page itself and then it will interact with the controller the application logic and the salesforce database itself it can also call outside services via web service calls outside of salesforce so if you want to integrate with other platforms outside of the salesforce lightning platform you can get data update data outside and then bring it back to your visual force again so it's pretty advanced what you can do here so this is just a very basic example of a visual force page so if you see here it starts with an opening apex page tag and closed by the apex page closing tag and then you have a form because we have a contact form here. All right. So we will discuss the nitty gritty of the whole code parts on various sections that we are going to discuss in detail. So this is how you, you construct a visual force page. This is basically a contact form a contact form. You see the standard controller for this page is the contact built-in controller so then you can just do input fields input fields input fields and then you put a save button this is a, a save action and it will save the records that you are adding here all right so basically you can create your own action define your own controller action and you can do whatever you want you code your own actions there all right <clears throat> So this particular page will look like this and you can edit or add contact and save it. So we're not going to actually create any visual force page on this video. We are just going to go on an overview. So it has a standard controller and then you can access the record using the record ID, pass through it <clears throat> and so on. You can read that on your own. So where you can use Visual Force 
pretty much almost everywhere on the Salesforce platform. You can open it from the app launcher. You remember the app launcher, the sandwich icon that we always click on the top left corner there, it pops up and then you can add your visual force page there. So you can click on it and it will open your visual force page. And then you can also add it on a tab, a navigation tab, navigation bar, right? And just link it there. Also, you can um, display visual force page within a standard page layout. So for example, you can display a tiny visual force page or section within a contact record details or any other object, custom and standard. Pretty cool, right? So you can do fancy smancy stuff here on any record page that you wanna do. All right, do, do anything you want, do an alert, calculation, prediction or whatever. Also, you can add Visual Force page as the component in the Lightning App Builder. You can drag Visual Force page there like that, drag, and then set it up. It will load on your on your own app. You can also do it with a as a quick action. So when you click on a quick action, it will actually um, launch a Visual Force page. See, so link it to a button or even even a standard button not just an action you can also link it with a standard button or links so when it's clicked it's actually launching a visual force page that you built so you know there is no limit your imagination is the limit pretty much you can do anything you want to do with your visual force page and it can be launched many many ways all right <clears throat> That's pretty much it for this video. So we are uh, going to do the quiz. What is the visual force? Visual force is uh, not this one tools, a web development framework. Yeah, that's the one that lets you build custom user interfaces for apps that can be hosted on the force.com platform. Yeah, you can display visual force page in all of the following places except Except what? Standard button, you can. Within the standard page layout, you can. From a tab, of course. Within any setup page. Hmm. Setup page. I don't think so. Salesforce one, you can, but it's kind of limited. You know? But you can. But um, it's either. There is a limitation here, I know. But I'm going to say setup page. Boom. Yes. So yeah, there we go, and I'll see you on the next video. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word. Watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.